Now, just like Artemis Fowl, this movie was supposed to be released in the theaters when COVID happened, obviously things changed and Disney Plus took it off its hands and now it's on Disney Plus this Friday. And I'm going to tell you right now, it is nowhere near as bad as Artemis Fowl. The one and only Ivan. This brand new Disney live action film, which is being released on Disney Plus this Friday, is a brand new family adventure film, which in right now in 2020 is a movie I think we all need to sit down and just watch. The film stars Brian Cranston with the voice work of Sam Rockwell, Angelina Jolie, the one and only Danny DeVito, and Helen Mirren, and is about a gorilla named Ivan who tries to piece together his past with the help of an elephant named Stella as they hatch a plan to escape from captivity. I really had a good time with this movie. I will say it's nothing that's gonna like change my life forever. It's nothing that's gonna make me wanna rewatch it every day. Nothing of that capacity. But for what this movie is and going on Disney Plus, I think families can have a blast this weekend watching this movie, especially with the greatness of Brian Cranston who plays Mac, the main character in this film, who does take care of this little ape named Ivan. He's a gorilla actually, he's a gorilla. And Ivan is a special gorilla voiced by Sam Rockwell and this entire movie we get to see the relationship of them growing, how he uses them at this like carnival situation in this mall and then once Ivan meets this little elephant he starts to figure things out. He learns that his paintings that he does is actually amazing and people are attracted to this and then they want Ivan to get out and the movie does a great job of setting up this relationship with Brian Cranston and Ivan so it's not like a situation where Brian Cranston is just keeping him there, he's trapping him there. You want Brian Cranston to be friends with Ivan, but Ivan does want to go home. He doesn't know where his original family is. The movie is, it's very touching. The entire cast who does voice work was great with Angelina Jolie and especially Danny DeVito as Bob the dog. I love me some Danny DeVito, so hearing him, I'm all for it. But the movie, it's 95 minutes long. It's got that good warmth feel to it. The CGI, for the most part, it looked pretty good. I would say it definitely had the stage of like, this could be shown to a movie theater, and I would say it looked pretty good. There are times where there's a lot of animation CGI happening where I'm like, okay, I can definitely tell this entire frame I'm looking at is CGI. But overall, for the most part, the movie, it, it is cliche. It's got your predictability. But the one thing I did like about it is the character of Ivan. I loved just the story of him. I loved seeing the characters all grow and wanting him to get out and his paintings. And especially when people want him out and this little girl, which I cannot remember the actress's name or the character name, but she was wonderful. Again, the movie gets in your feels. You even might tear up at the very end at one certain part but I still had a good time with it and I would recommend it this weekend. I will give the one and only Ivan a B. I think little kids can for sure enjoy this movie. Adults can like this movie, but it's not like a movie that's gonna be like, oh, I love this movie. It's cute, it's adorable, it's good for the family, and I definitely advise it. Anyway guys, we guys enjoy this review and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye everyone.